Greetings, it is Max so Diddly here, and today I'm here for another C Sharp tutorial to you get that A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with checking if an input is an integer. So we have a little method here. We have a static boolean, so it's going to return a boolean. We call it type checkint, and we pass in a string, and that string is just going to be called input. This is going to be the number in a string format for us to check if it can be converted to an integer. Inside the function we have two lines of code. Firstly, we're going to create an integer and set it to zero. After our integer, we have a return statement, implying that we're going to return whatever this line of code outputs. So int.tryPass, essentially, you have to give it a string and it will attempt to convert it to an integer. If it converts to an integer, it will become a true. If it fails to convert your string to an integer, it becomes a false. It will also interact with the variable that you try to, uh, where you're going to store the converted integer. For instance, we need to have an integer to try this with for this to actually work. And basically, this returns a true or a false, and we will return that to whatever the function's called. So, what we can do is we can do console.writeLine, then pass in type check int, then put in a string of any kind. And then do console.readLine to stop the program from ex exiting so we can actually see the result. So let's play. As you can see, it returns a true when we pass in 34. Let's try a little random bigger number. As you can see, it passes a true. Let's try a negative number. As you can see, it puts in a true. Let's put a decimal point in there. As you can see, output's false. Let's put in a name. As you can see, output's false. Let's put in a name with some numbers. As you can see, outputs are false. So thanks guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more C Sharp tutorials or any other programming tutorials related to Java or Visual Basic. And thanks for being a great audience, and I'll see you next time. Adios.